never gets old. Honestly, it never gets old. I'm just amazed by these <laughs> And feel free to jump in. You serious? Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. If, if you somehow don't know who he is, check out his channel. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. This is a... This is an amazing day. This is uh, definitely crossing an item off of my bucket list. We are meeting up with the car guy of all car guys on YouTube. It's going to be epic. We're taking the ZR1 and let's get to it. So much crap in my hands. It's actually hard to like hold the camera and try to film, but I am, I'm just so freaking excited for this day. I've been talking about this. Well, he and I have been talking back and forth for like a month now. It's kind of like unreal. The fact that I'm about to go meet him. Fangirling a little bit, not gonna lie, a little bit. Pulling up. Gotta make an entrance here, so I put it in manual mode. There is a Lamborghini Urus right there in blue. I feel like we're in the right spot. A Fab Speed makes exhausts for like Lambos, Porsches, Ferraris, everything basically, McLarens. And there's a really clean Gallardo right there with a Montana plate, of course. Classic, classic tax evasion. I like it. And uh, I don't really know where to go, but no, it looks like we did some donuts here. Not sure where to go, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Oh my God, and there is Shmi. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What's up? Hello, how Pleasure you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Good I'm close. sorry I'm putting you on the spot here. Uh, it's all good, it's all good, welcome. Thanks for having me. This thing looks menacing. Thank you. Love it. GT up there on the lift. I mean, number one, welcome back to the States. Thank you. Happy to have you. It's hot. It's very hot. It's very it's hot. It's not very British weather. Normally, I know, dude. Normally like, when I go anywhere, I bring the British weather with me. And uh -huh. It's raining and it's miserable. I guess you've had a bit of that today, but yeah. for me, this is like dying. That car up on the dyno. We put it in, you have to take off the diffuser and strap it down. Um, yeah. Give it a couple of runs. Made five uh, at the wheels. Wow. It's not bad given it claims 647. Yeah. Wow. So, the wheels. Run very strong. That's epic. Uh, Bang on what it was supposed to be, like 15 per pound. Uh, but yeah, that's that awesome. Sounded quite good when it was going, but now, now there's that whole discussion of what about a factory system? Yes, it's right in front of that door. Awesome, right next to a uh, 360. See some McLarens in there. Oh my gosh, it is an honor to be here. It really is like a complete honor. I can't believe like I, I saw Shmi walking up and I'm like, that's it. I've been watching, you guys might not know, but I've been watching Shmi since before I started making videos like five years ago. I've been watching this guy on videos and now I get to meet him. And now I know what it's like. People say that to me and I'm like, I'm just a regular guy, but now, now I know how it feels. It's definitely a really cool facility. They got all kinds of awesome stuff here. Check out their Instagram and everything for sure. So thank you to them for having me and uh, we're gonna have a good time. in there uh, answering some questions and doing a little little interview and uh, I just wanted to show you guys some of the cars they have on kind of on display here in the shop really cool R8 Spider they have a beautiful uh, 12c Spider in there in yellow these cars are getting uh, exhaust right now and of course Schmee's GT which is incredible and they were talking about uh, doing an exhaust on it. I don't know. I don't know if they will or not. It is so cool and the fact that they had that up on the dyno and got some power numbers from it <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe it's here. I've seen this car on video so many times If I had asked people what they wanted they would have said faster horses Henry Ford Little quote there on the front number plate, but yeah, he shipped this car over from the UK to the US and I mean that is incredible really really cool beautiful car BBS wheels on it I know I think he did like completely custom Recaro seats inside as well I love the spec on it though a really nice deep red with the gold stripes and I mean it is pretty incredible to be standing here next to this car cut on that body is just nuts look at it it's almost like you have the main body of the car and then you have a separate part on the outside 
It's really, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, that, that space doesn't look that big like on video, but in person it is massive. Cause there, there's a few cars that have like, you know, a little flying buttress, but not, nothing like that. So low to the ground too. I mean, the car's way up in the air, but you can still see from here, to, I can almost reach from here to the roof line. I mean, that it's so low. I bet you the ZR1 is like almost a foot taller than that car. Carbon ceramics, of course. Wing and the exhaust is just so unique. Big circular taillights on there, really cool. Really cool. So all Audi R8V8s, LP560s, Huracans, Audi R8V10s, the factory sticks an extra catalytic converter in there, and if I gave you a flashlight, you can actually physically see it in there. Wow. This is like, for instance, an Audi R8 V10 uh, jig, the jig exhaust. It doesn't look as pretty as it should, but the bottom line is the exhaust comes through the engine, goes through this casting, goes through this valve. When this valve opens, it's a straight shot to the tailpipe. This valve is made in England. It's the same valve that McLaren, Ferrari use on the Pista, okay. uh, Performante, SVJ. It's a really good silica carbide valve. When the valve shuts, it goes through an X-pipe investment cast. It gives you that ripping canvas sound that sounds badass. So it literally just goes, you can have it completely straight piped or pretty quiet. Correct. Like which I is put really this on nice. Shay's orange car that he's trying to get Okay. Out. But this is the deal. We use these for all these cars. So like on those, the outlets change. But if you had a Huracan LP, whatever, the, you know, the outlets change, but the, but the mass and the quality doesn't change. Gotcha. The key thing to notice is these are the valves from England that Porsche's using, McLaren's using, and all the big hitters, Audi, Bugatti, because they never break. A lot of these valves are from Taiwan, China, they all explode. And right. <laughs> Yeah, that looks awesome. $600,000, it's a defense quality <laughs> mandrel bender, like the big boys use it, defense contract. Airbus, Northrop Grumman, Boeing. Right. That's it's incredible. all electric, super precise. All here in Pennsylvania. He's making GT3 center bumper bypass pipes. Beautiful. And he's making air cool stuff. There's a new G-Wagon exhaust going together down there. Somebody's building a Lamborghini LP560 exhaust. Okay. So once again, the exhaust comes through an investment casting, goes through this quality valve from England, the real deal, and goes through a resonator. We can leave resonators out if somebody wanted to, but it, it's nice to have a high-low difference, if you, you know yeah. what I mean? And then it goes through the casting, and then it'll come out to different outlets, and it'll fit the car. Here, for instance, our Porsche twin turbo setup. Uh, we actually made a system that you would get a kick out of. It was like the new GT2 RS that we did it before Porsche. Exhaust comes out of the turbo, goes to the catalytic converter. We put a valve on here, so some exhaust will shoot to the tip. The rest of it will go through this muffler that's two and three quarter inches, so you get the horsepower and the torque, but you get good sound. Porsche comes out with a catalytic converter, and the exhaust comes through, goes out of valve to the tip. Letting the ZR1 out into the wild with the 4GT that is now off the dyno. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it on the ground. This is definitely going to be really, really cool to see a Ford GT. And you guys know, I'm not even a huge Ford guy, but uh, <laughs> look at the, it's so low. Oh my God. Video, sorry, I almost dropped the camera. Video does not do it justice at all. We got Shmi in the car. He's going in to ask for directions because neither one of us really knows where to go. As funny as that is, even though I'm kind of from this area, but not really. Um, but we're gonna take him out on a drive and I feel like we can scare him a little bit, have a little bit of fun. Eight speed. <laughs> yeah, not sure fun. why. It's like they're, it's, Doug DeMiro said, it's like they're advertising like, ooh, eight speed. You don't see that in many cars where it tells you the number of gears, but. No, I mean, in, a, in an automatic, is it, is it a normal auto? Or yep, uh, so it's a torque converter auto, not a dual clutch. Whereas the new, the C8 has the dual clutch. Yep. Which is, I, I mean, the fact that the new C8 is a mid-engine supercar, with a dual clutch gearbox, mm -hmm. with adap uh, adaptive suspension, yep. active suspension, with the kind of tech that it offers as well. Like, it's a no brainer. I'm kind really of jealous, is. actually, because we're really, not going to get it in, the year, in Europe for it's sure. It's going to be a couple of years late, isn't it? Yeah, we'll, we'll have a year or two to wait, and then when it does arrive, it's going to cost a bomb more. What I didn't know is that you could have the uh, 
Yeah, full clear roof. So I, I actually have, one. so I have the carbon roof, which is what you've probably seen before. Mm -hmm. And then they sell these with called the dual roof package. Okay. And uh, you also get the clear one with that. So I use the clear one. It's kind of nice. It, I, I will admit though, it gets really, it gets more yeah. hot than the regular roof. Well, you've got a black car, an yes. all black car with a clear roof. And it's like uh, very <laughs> hot right now. So I'm sorry to do this to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting you in the sweat box here. The but, worst possible combo. Yeah, but it's but great for still, racing. You can still pop it off even on the ZR1. Yep. And put it yep, away. That comes off. In the, uh, in the truck. In the boot. In the we boot. In, in the, the boot. boot. <laughs> and then you've got that ginormous wing behind us. Well, um, I think in a second, let's head on out and uh, have some fun. Let's do it. Set at the launch of the C8. It's going to be the only naturally aspirated V8 on the market. The only one. Yeah. You know that. I guess they are the last holdout. It's crazy. Everything else is turbocharged or hybrid or electric. But then this, well, this is just... <laughs> Old you school. want to just hold it in second. Yeah, I know. I was, I was waiting for this bridge here. I was going to give you a sound clip. <laughs> Pops you get. Yeah. It's one of my favorite parts. Yeah, but I'll, put, I'll put it back in quiet mode now for the video. I'm sorry, yeah. I just had to do that. You have a, if I remember right, there are lots of different driving modes in here, aren't there? There are. So we are in sport right now, which yeah. is kind of like, you know, you're, you're middle of the road. Like it's sporty, but not anything crazy. And then you can go touring mode, which, which is calm mode. Yeah, that softens up the suspension. I'm going straight here, right? Yeah, we'll head on straight. Sorry, that's probably going to ruin your video. No, but, okay. Um, so you have touring mode which is your softest setting you know shifts are very early you basically don't even hear the car yeah. and then sport is the middle of the road and then you have track and each one changes the dash yeah, which yeah. is pretty cool um track mode is my favorite by far you get that yeah the big long rev cool. counter like that which is really neat that's really really cool and then high attempts and everything yeah but it'll hold uh, gears longer and all that good stuff for you yeah who doesn't like that so how many 2100 on the clock how many have you done uh, that's it. Yeah. The, uh, well, well I got it. had 10 miles on when I got it. Wait, hold on. A couple of weeks. 2,000 yeah. miles. So I drove it back. The big one was North Carolina, which is where I got it. Yeah. So that was about 600 miles right there in the first day. I never thought I'd be able to actually buy a McLaren, which of course I, I did one day. But uh, the Corvette was always like that. That I will own one day. Well, can I give you a bit of a fanboy moment from my side? Sure. I know your first video is picking up a Corvette. It is. Yes, it is. That was your first ever that's video. That's impressive, you know that. I, I do indeed. And my stuff. Well, I've enjoyed watching and, and seeing a bit of your story because also the McLarens, obviously. Uh -huh. A big connection to, to what I like and what I spend a lot of time filming with um, are McLarens. I've owned five of them. Yeah. Had, I, I know, obviously, you've had 720. Uh, two, the 570 and the 720. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, the 600 LT comes in in August, which okay. I think I'm going to take delivery of, but I'm not right. sure. What did you do with the 570? So the 570 was straight piped and tuned. I yeah. love that car. I mean, that car was the surprise of a lifetime because that thing was so much faster than the numbers suggest yeah. you know when you hear like 570 horsepower like you wouldn't think it was that fast that car was faster than anything under like 800 wheel horsepower just because yeah. it was so light so quick the transmission and all that it just absolutely holds yeah and i love that car and then the 720 the 720 was as fast i was expecting that speed yeah so it wasn't quite as big of a shock as the 570 was but i mean mm -hmm. that thing is I mean, a 720 is unreal. Oh, wow. Never gets old. I'm just amazed by these cracks <laughs> that come out from behind. It makes on the shifts. This is a beast. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's not as quick as that dual clutch, but when it gets up there and it knows it has to work, yeah. then it's pretty quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be interesting actually to see what the, uh, the new one does. Um, in terms of gearbox, how it interacts with the engine, yeah. how the suspension handles. I mean, it's the first time for, for Chevy making the, the Corvette. It's a lot of firsts I yeah, mean, in that car. Big time. A lot of them. I'm going to take this right here. It's a lot of firsts in one car. It is. It's had an incredible reaction. It, I've never seen so many people talk about getting a Corvette. Yeah. I mean, people that I've never even heard them say the word Corvette before. One yeah. one. So. Yeah, everybody does. And I think us in uh, Europe are also a little bit jealous about when it's going to be arriving <laughs> on our shores. Um, but we're going to be heading just back in here uh, where we started a moment ago. But I, I think it's really, really impressive what they've done. Obviously, they've been working on it a long time. You've seen all the spy cars. You know, they've, yeah. they've driven them around a lot. They've not been discreet about it in the slightest. Yeah, I've been following this for like two years. Yeah, and you've seeing these probably owned about 10 million Corvettes since, since they first yeah. the uh, mission. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Something like that. Well, somewhere, I think, just around the corner. It's my American car as well. Yes, it is. Hopefully. Yeah, there it is. And I mean, still. 
congrats on that too, by the Thank way. You. It is, I mean, pictures, when you guys, if you guys see this car in person, video and pictures do not do it justice at all. Like not even, it's so it's, much wider and lower. It's But it's, it's also all the aero parts. Yeah. That, like, I mean, this car has aero in a sense that people understand. You know, big front splitter, ginormous rear wing. Mm -hmm. The GT's aero is what's going on inside it, like under the buttresses. It was up on the lift. I, I took a peek through that corner and you can see through the yeah. side to the front of the car. It's, it's like incredible. Absolutely amazing. Well, this has been pretty epic to uh, enjoy it. Enjoy listening to, to be completely honest. I want to take a step outside. No, actually, I'm probably going to stay in the air conditioning okay. for another moment longer. <laughs> Cars. Yeah. It doesn't just have to be expensive and very fast, it has to offer an exciting experience. Right. And something like the Jimny, I don't know if you, you must have seen in the past, like my classic Mini that I had. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. The three wheeler that I had. I you know you've had some oddballs. Oh yeah. yeah. I like oddball cars. I think it's just fun. It puts smiles on people's faces. It puts a smile on my face when I'm And the color it. on that Suzuki just makes it perfect. Yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. that it's the if most obnoxious had, color possible. If we had sunny days like this in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. Then it would pop. Unfortunately, those are pretty rare, but. That's how I felt bad when I texted you about, I was like, is it raining up there? And I was like, he's used to, he's probably like, oh, what's I'm, the big deal if it's yeah, raining? Yeah, rain doesn't stop me driving. Wow. <laughs> This Unless is you're on a nuts. With was. Exactly. Or like R888s or, or R888s. Yeah. <laughs> that is unreal. No, the best bit is when you go around the back and you look through and you know you've got this whole like And you can just see right through it. That exhaust is just so cool too. I love like the circular theme. Mm. But you do have the um, the take from Angry Birds going on. The, the pig from Angry Birds? You've heard that one? Yeah, I've, I've, heard like I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm wow. not gonna lie, it does look a bit like that. <laughs> First thing that's kind of cool is on here, Okay. I don't know if we'll be able to see it in the uh, in the light, but you get this little uh, oh, yeah, a little lock. symbol when it's locked or unlocked. Yeah. So um, if the car was, you know, to unlock it, you, well, no, to unlock it, you press it here. Okay. It up. Wow. And then to lock it, you just press on here. You just press that little screen. He says, like, window. There we go, locked. Wow. Which is kind of cool. And then inside, feel free to jump in. You serious? Yeah, go for it. Oh my God. It's very, very snug, I'm not I, gonna lie. I love very the seats cozy. you did too. Yeah, do you know what? I really like a per small personalization to a car mm -hmm. that is still very factory um, in this context. So for example, the contrast stitch that matches with the exterior, it's tiny, tiny That's details. That's beautiful. But normally you can only have it in black. You can only have black stitch. And I was very lucky that Sparco, who make the factory seats originally, um, did the work for me for that. And they um, did and then, the gold in the yeah, headrest? and the headrest up there. And then the company in the UK who make the steering wheels and paddles and lots of the rest of the interior called ADP um, did the matching stitch using the same thread and of course painted the paddles to match the stripes outside. Wow. Which is really cool. The only other GTs in the world that have any painted paddles are the competition ones. Which okay. Paddles. Um, so it's really, really cool to have, I guess, a one-off. It's yeah. become a one-off. You know, it's, it's a car. It's a car I intend to treasure, and that's exactly why it's out here. This is the still ridiculous thing. Remember, this is on a different continent to where I'm. Yeah, I know. Right now. It's so <laughs> weird, like seeing your license plate and everything. It's like that this car came all the way from the UK, and literally here we are driving down the east coast of yeah. the US. Um, but yeah, I, I'm building the memories. It's a complete keeper. That's I've, awesome. I've fallen for it in every possible way. And you know what? Having it here, people in the USA know so much more about what this car is and what it represents Do that. and what it means. Yeah, there's so much more love for it here. It's great, it's so cool. Into life, button in the center console. Are you serious? Yeah, just give it, give it a hit. You gotta put it in track mode, if you haven't done it. Okay. Just, uh, yeah, hit the button. <laughs> now, uh, in typical fashion, you get a whole lot of, I mean, it's not a deep grumble like your car. Um, literally. Well, you this, can hear it though. Is, this is one of the cool bits. Drop it into track mode, hit the button. Oh my <laughs> God. It's so cool, isn't it? That, you know, wow. Wait for it to go up. It's so like violent. It's like, yeah, oh it's my instant. God. You drop about two inches. Just like, literally just like that. <laughs> that is, that is, you're right. That is insane. It's really cool. I love it. And then you have the whole like separate hydraulic suspension system lockout onto basically wow. a race suspension. Love um, the shift light there. Yeah, the right, right up in there. A few people think the steering wheel's too cluttered, but when you get used to it, that's actually really convenient. It's like, it's like the rest of the car doesn't do much. Just you're, it's driving. It's Pretty like much, yeah. It's on the steering wheel. Off you go. You only got your gear selector there, a little screen, air con, and that's really it. And then everything else is on the wheel. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> it's one of the fun things it's is when, when you flick it off. <laughs> <laughs> off <laughs> you so, that, that would take me a second to get used to that. It does. 
It's a really, really, really strange thing. This has been the honor of a lifetime. Thank you, Tim. I know he's got to run. Oh my gosh, so yes. Good. But I mean, this was incredible. Definitely check out Shmi150 if you haven't. If, if you somehow don't know who he is, check out his channel and his amazing Ford GT and his collection of many other vehicles. Uh, this has been great. Mission to come aboard, Captain. All right, here we go. Wow, look at this. We got Captain Jack Sparrow over here. Good God. It's a Chevy motor, by the way, in Shane's boat. What are you, do what are you still doing up here? I'm just cleaning everything up before Chandler gets here. He's about to get here and build all the boxes to the side. Nice. Yeah. Well, it'll look good. I have confidence. I, so. I mean, the boat, it's come a long way. I I'll be honest with you. When Shane bought it, I was like, this thing, number one, is never going to see water. One week left to enter the giveaway for our Desert Storm Jeep. We've got lots of products up here. I can use this ladder to show you guys the key tags we have we have the combat flags and tan we have the make america great again street speed someone seven lots of dirty max ones the neon flag red line for firefighters the all green combat flag student driver street speed grand sport logo uh red white and blue flag all gray flag and the flag with the blue line and other 7171s as well. We got the backpacks, we got knives in stock, olive drab, all desert camo, uh, with the blade is also desert, the, the blade on the knife is also desert camo, and then desert camo with a uh, steel blade, steel colored blade, and uh, our Marpat camo. Old hats and t-shirts are in stock as well. The new t-shirts over here, the in chain designs on the desert camo, the star on the desert camo, the maple leaf, for our Canadian viewers, which by the way, if you didn't know, this giveaway is open to Canadians, eh? And uh, the Jeep with the mud splatter right here and the Jeep grill with the bullets on it. Very cool. Our tow hitch covers right here, tons of different stickers, flags, uh, many different flags, political stickers, Betsy Ross flags. And we also have signed posters that I don't see, but you can get a poster of my Duramax or my ZR1 and you can get those signed or unsigned. Check out the website, InShaneDesigns.com. Every five bucks is an entry to win the Jeep. One week left. Thought that you were gonna get away with a whole video without a merch plug? No way, no, no way, I'm not allowing it. Um, but seriously, one week left to win our Jeep. Don't miss out. You know, you get a t-shirt, you get a poster, something cool, and then you get a call a couple days later and you won a Jeep. It can happen, it already happened for three people and uh, don't think it can't be you. As you can see, we're home, but it's a bit uh, a bit rainy and gloomy now, but what an awesome day uh, with Shmi. Unfortunately, we didn't have a whole lot of time. He had to run right to the airport, and then he was getting his car shipped to Miami, I believe. So that will be the next uh, stop on his tour, which is really cool. I mean, what he's doing, he's driving his 4GT all across the US, a very cool idea, and a uh, very nice guy. It was awesome, really, really good time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.